my video, I stressed enough about what this team means to me, what the season meant to me, what my time on this team has meant to me. But um, I'm not a really emotional person, but I'm going to get really emotional right now. Um, I want to thank Darnell. I know he's not here, but he's helped me so much. And my stunning and just being a better cheerleader. And he's always saving everybody's life on the team. And <laughs> he's the reason y'all are all here, most of you. So. <laughs> um, I want to thank Ben because you always treat us like your daughters. And I mean, I know I have parents and I have a dad, but when we're competing, we're about to go on stage. You just need that extra reminder. And when you have that speech, like that, that's what I need every time. I need someone to tell me, I got it, you're going to do great. And like, my favorite words are that you love us now and you're going to be proud of us no matter what happens. Because I've had my good and bad performances. I think I still remember that you're going to love us no matter what. And you've always been there to help us. And um, I want to thank Sarah because I started at Lake Norman and you've been my coach for a long time. Well, and I know it was the same year, but you've just, you watched me on that team and you helped me get where I, to be able to be on Senior Leap. And my time there, I loved it just as much as I loved it in Kernersville. And I loved being a part of that and I loved having you as my coach. Um, I want to thank Courtney because you genuinely, you just love cheerleading and you want the best for all of us. And like Alex said, like I hear people from this team now talk about your stories and how nobody else does that. And so I'm happy that I was there to listen to those and that I'll be able to use that when I'm older. Um, I want to thank all the parents for letting me spend time with your kids and putting them on this team so I can enjoy cheerleading the way I have. Um, I want to thank my parents because you guys have always been there for me and you pushed me. You drove me to practice when it was late nights and you let me do this. And I know when it started that it was just at Lake Norman so it wasn't far away. And then when it got a little further you were like supportive of that and you let me fall through with this and now we've done it twice. Like look where we are. And I'm so happy that you let me do this and that you're okay with me queen gymnastics and changing what I wanted to do. Um, I want to thank all the seniors because I really enjoyed this year and I really enjoyed all of you guys. Like I enjoyed our time together and our conversations and now that I'm older, being able to talk to you guys and just all having to deal with like the things that are coming up for us, I really, really enjoyed having those conversations. Um, I want to thank my stunt group because you guys are awesome and I feel like I just Riley, we had to kind of be thrown into each other last year and make it work and we were just, we kind of had to mold quickly together and we did and it's hard and Alex is an amazing back spot and you're always like I think we should try this I think we should try that and we're <laughs> it always like everything you do you're so strong it just works and Gabby every everything you have to say to Gabby she's just like that's great well I'll try it whatever there's never like I feel like there's never any blame we're always just like let's make it work and we end up having to do that even though people don't really know that much but on day two we had to do that and we all just acted like nothing was wrong like <laughs> we're just gonna keep going like Whatever, and that, I mean, people don't know how scary that is to have to do those types of stunts. <laughs> and y'all, I never felt nervous, like, with you guys. I always felt like we were ready, and we were like, okay, we got it, and y'all didn't make me feel freaked out. Um, I want to thank Molly for always talking cheerleading with me at practice and trying to, when we're making things work, I always felt like even if nobody else was really thinking what I was, you were, so at least we could figure it out together. Um, Ashley. Like, I remember when I first started cheering here, I was watching you do Arabian through to one and three quarters on your side, like, trying to get it, trying to get it, and now you, I'm, like, like patting you on the butt, one and a half through to double, like, it's nothing, it's your first pass, and I'm like, you got it, like, get ready for your second one, like, just carpooling and having to be with you all these years, just, it's, it's awesome that you've grown so much, and I'm glad I was there for that. Um, Lexi, you crack me up. 100% of the time and I'm like you just make me laugh so much and I love our little talks and jokes and Aaron too I told you I was going to give you a shout out but Aaron, Aaron literally is so calm about practice it just makes it makes my day every time I get to see her and we get to be dumb and say I'll see you in running tumbling and like see you in the pyramid like and Savannah and Haley cool kids for life I like hanging out with you guys even though I have to like 
go from the dark side to the normal side or whatever. But, and you didn't fully accept me, it's okay because <laughs> I still try to be in your conversation. <laughs> and um, last, I want to thank Maddie because I know that, um, like, you all talk like these are my 35 sisters, but she's my actual sister. And like being able to have all these memories with Maddie is so amazing that like our whole rest of our lives, like I get to look back on my cheerleading career and Maddie's been through everything with me, me at the same time. Like in 2011, on day two of Bout Under the Big Top, we were so scared because we didn't do good on day one and we were nervous about getting a bid. And I just remember being so scared backstage. Like I have to do 360 ball up, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm terrified and like, I was holding Maddie's hand and I was like, I guess if I had to think about all people's hands I'd want to be holding, it would be Maddie because she's my sister. And that was the last person I get to see before I went into that routine. And so every competition now, it's just like it's normal and it's going to be weird going to college and not have, like even doing college cheerleading or just being in college and not having Maddie because I've been through high school cheerleading with her and she's just been, been there and we've gone through everything together and it's just sad that it's over. but. <laughs> I'll miss you and I'll miss cheering with you and I hope that good things come your way even if I'm not going to be there to experience them with you. Um, that's all, I mean, I just, I feel like I wanted to thank everybody. <laughs> and uh, that's it, that's all I want to say. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.